Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this green shaded rectangle A, B, C, D that is inscribed in this quarter of a circle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the distance E, D is 10 and the distance B, F is 5 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded rectangle A, B, C, D. And furthermore, let's assume that the radius of this quarter of a circle is R. That means this radius is R and likewise this radius is R as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this rectangle A, B, C, D. And now we are going to find this length A, D. All right. So we are going to find this thing. And we know that this total, this length is R units, isn't it? And this length is 10. So that means this AD is going to be simply R minus 10. And likewise, we want to calculate this length AB, this one we are interested in, how much that is going to be. We know that this whole AF is radius R, and we know that this much is 5 units. So that means this length AB is going to be simply R minus 5. And since this ABCD is a rectangle, and here's the definition of rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means this side AD and this opposite side BC are going to be same length. If this is R minus 10, so this BC is going to be R minus 10 as well. So therefore we conclude that BC equals to R minus 10. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect points A and C. So this is just the diagonal. So let's go ahead and connect this A and C. And this is moreover, this is a radius as well. And here it is our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's focus on this triangle ABC. And in this triangle, we know that this AC is nothing more than our radius R. This AB in our case is R minus 5. And this BC is simply R minus 10. And we know that this triangle ABC is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And then in this triangle ABC, the longest leg AC is going to be our side C. This horizontal side I'm going to call A. And this vertical side I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a in our case is r minus 5 square, and b in our case is r minus 10 square equal to c in our case is r. So that's going to become r square. And I'm going to call this as an equation number 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify this equation and as far as these binomials are concerned we are going to expand them by using this formula a minus b square. So this is going to become r square minus 10 r plus 25 plus again for this next one is going to be r square minus 20 r plus 100 equal to r square. And as we can see that this R square cancels out with this R square. Let's combine the like terms. So we got R square and then minus 
thirty R plus one hundred and twenty five equal to zero. Now we can see that this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve by factoring a technique. Now let me show you really quick how to solve this one by factoring. So the very first thing is this constant part, this 125 is going to be on the top of this x factor and this coefficient of r which is the middle number negative 30 is going to be at the bottom and now we are going to factor this 125 such that we get a number and the number we're going to get is negative 5 and negative 25 and if we multiply these factors negative 5 and negative 25 we are going to get 125 and if we add these factors we are going to get negative 30 and now let's go ahead and solve i'm going to put down r and then again r over here equal to zero and whatever our factors are i'm going to write down over here i'm going to put down negative 5 in this parentheses and negative 25 over here and now if we got these two parentheses equal to zero i can separate them i can split them I can set both one equal to 0, r minus 25 equal to 0. So that means r equal to positive 5 and r equal to positive 25. Now let's pick this r equal to 5 and if we put it over here, this r minus 10 means 5 minus 10 means negative 5. And we know that this distance cannot be negative, so therefore we are going to reject r equal to 5 value. Therefore we are going to accept this r equal to positive 25 value. This next step we are going to find the length of this rectangle a, b, c, d. Here's our length a, b is r minus 5 where r is 25. So a, b is simply going to become 25, take away 5 means a, b equals to 20. Thus the length of this rectangle turns out to be a, b equals to 20. Now we are going to calculate the width of rectangle a, b, c, d. And we know that the width is b, c equal to r minus 10 and we know r is 25. Let's fill in the blanks. So 25 minus 10 is going to give us BC equal to 15. So thus the width turns out to be simply 15. And here's our final step. Let's calculate the area of this rectangle ABCD. And here's the area of a rectangle formula. Area equal to length time width. In our case, length is 20 and width is 15. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A equals to 20 times 15. That means A turns out to be simply 300. So thus the area of this rectangle ABCD turns out to be 300 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.